heard about it before I changed the channel. And then I prayed, and I'm still praying. Whether that means anything to you or if it makes it any better with God, don't matter. It makes me feel better just doing it. You know, when something like this earthquake in Japan happened, it was Japan, right? Yeah. And it just reminds me of all the times that me and others like me use our gifts and report it. And it seems like we humans just choose not to learn, you know? Because I have dreamed and when I dream, it's different now than when I was younger. I dreamt three, the same thing three times. Three, day, three nights in a row, three nights in a row, three nights in a row. Three different dreams. The first of which was the original earthquake, what, last two years ago? Whenever, don't write to me about that. And then this one, and I also dreamed about a train that's going to like crash underwater wherever there's a train. I mean a massive train. I don't mean like a little tiny train like for sightseeing or something like that. Anyway, it's, it's huge. One of those bullet things that le levitates on the, on the track thing. One of the, wherever that is. I don't know. Don't write to me about that either. It doesn't matter. I don't want you to focus on that. All I want everyone to focus on is sending healing light there. Okay? That's the important thing. You know, Mama always taught us when you go by... Happy Friday, Miss Gail. When you pass an accident on the freeway, you know, you can stop and gawk. Because then all your energy goes there. Just close your eyes and visualize everyone whole. So now every time, even if an ambulance goes by, I envision the ambulance going through the green bubble and everyone coming out the other side instantly healed. Let's just vision them, envision them found, scratched up, but healed, okay? This third dream that I had, unfortunately, I don't know when it's going to take place. And it's so, it's really crazy because even though there are a lot of psychics now working with, you know, detectives and da-da-da-da, even when I call in, I called in about the poly class thing or some little girl, what, 10 years ago they got kidnapped. And, you know, the, the police peace officer that I spoke to on the phone, he was, he was very kind. Some of them aren't and they just think you're Looney Tunes, you know. But, you know, I do as, as much as I can because that's, that's, that's my gift. God didn't give it to me just to sit on it. And, and you call and you try to warn, you know, people that, um, I don't know who to call. So I started with, you know, of course the police and I told them exactly what I saw. I just, you know, draw out a map of where I thought the van was with the little girl in it back in the day. Sorry, back in the day. And, uh, you know, I, I just, you know, took it in. I'm Tasha Harris, da 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 Here's my social security number, my driver's license number, every number. You can see I'm not just some whack job, okay? So... And, and he was very kind, and well, they were very kind. Um, when was that? I think I was living in Mountain View then. And they were very kind to me and said, you know, we appreciate you people. <laughs> and I'm sorry, the first thing I thought of was like, you appreciate what, black people or fat ladies? Or women with beautiful smiles? Which people? You know, you kind of trip on that. Anyway, so I always try to do the best thing that my spirit guides tell me to do for of course the planet because you know we're not taking care of our planet and I don't know about you but I kind of sort of think that's some of the reason why these things are happening um, if I believe in what I believe in and I stand in the light of that then some of this has to happen because you're ready to go and the doctor won't pull a plug or something you know but there's there's a reason for everything and if we all just got together to figure out what it is I'm sure we could prevent dying this way in such a horrific way. I, I couldn't imagine, you know, call it, getting a call from the mortician saying, yeah, well, your, your mom had a house, you know, land on her, or whatever, you know, your child shouldn't 
Ugh. Anyway, I, I'm not gonna shit on God, so... There's, there's billions and billions of reasons. No, it doesn't matter what you believe. That's just what I believe is my channel. I can put whatever I want. But I know man has definitely, definitely not used his ability in balance of and with everything else. I mean, balance in science, balance in government, balance in, you know, spirituality, religion, whatever you want to call it. You know, and I think until we find that balance, these things are going to continue to happen more and more and more. The Holy Rollers are going to say, yeah, the Lord's coming. The, honey, the Lord already came. It happened. Hello. It came there. You know, and it's going to be our turn next. I, I, I don't know. But I'm already praying for them people that live on the water in San Francisco. Get out. <laughs> you know, just to be safe. I mean, you know, you can pack a few things, your pictures, your, your you know, important papers and whatnot. And, you know, just be safe. Better safe than sorry, you know, and have that, you know, stuff someplace else, like, you know, I don't know, at a bank in Chicago or something. I don't know. But I have started praying for those people in case it does happen. You know, Mother, Mother Nature is loving and not so loving, you know. But if I believe what I believe in, everything happens for a reason. We all just need to sit down and figure out what it is and try maybe to prevent some of it and then on the other on the flip side of that if you already decided you were gonna have your death in the drowning I mean you know we can't stop that we can't stop everything because sometimes however you intended whatever your spiritual path was before you had skin is, is gonna be fulfilled you know if you, if you think you're supposed to die having a heart attack hey more power to you you know I'm just going to go to sleep, actually, and take my last breath and go home. Don't need an earthquake, don't need a war, don't need, you know, hell to raise and stuff like that. Let's just pray. Let's just pray for healing. Healing circle, let's just pray for healing. You know, and just stop. I, I know it sounds probably mean of me but it really doesn't help to keep looking at the pictures over and over and over and I feel the exact same way about the 911 thing we don't have to remember all the tragedy we remember that it happened so let's just pray in peace you know just like anything else you have a heart attack you have this you have that accident you see an accident on the road we don't need to stop and gawk just pray in peace you know so let's, let's just pray, you know, send some good light and energy over there. And then I also pray that, you know, since I don't have millions of dollars in the bank, you know, I got two dollars, so I'll put two dollars on it. But I pray that those who do have millions, send it so those people can eat and have, you know, fresh water. At least, you know, forget clean clothes, because, honey, as long as I'm above ground, all I need is some, you know, water, maybe a piece of bread. And something not falling on my head. Seriously. Seriously. I don't want to see that. I, I mean, I see it right there on the newspaper. I see it on the news. I just change the channel. You know, and I, I watch. Generally, I try to I put in a video or DVD or whatever of something, you know, metaphysical. Or I watch, you know, the sharks in the ocean or the whales in the ocean. And I just put out a loving vibration to those in need, you know, because I really don't think, you know, all of our, our thought waves going on an accident is going to help that accident or those victims anymore, so why can't we just, you know, meditate, pray, whatever, in peace, we don't need to see the drama to know that it exists, you know, maybe that's just me. over quickly and they get the little dogs up let them find everybody oh god bless them bless them bless them and for all those people who usually email people like me or Jordan or Chance or 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 you know let's let's not 
don't even waste time writing us saying, is my cousin alive? Is my mom alive? We're concentrating on peace and letting them be alive. Let's just try to focus on that, okay? Don't don't clog up the, the airwaves and the ether and I didn't say internet, I said ether and all that other stuff by asking, asking, asking. You know, wait a few days. Cause we're, you know, in the process of praying. And so it is. God bless you. I love you. Love yourself. Love yourself. Okay. Have a good day. Bye. Okay, I'm making this video for my beautiful son, Ryan, who calls me and says, are you evacuating? And I didn't think about it. San Francisco is rather close. I didn't think about it. So I'm not laughing at that, honey. I'm laughing because it's so cute. Somebody loves me. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Mwah, mwah. <laughs> are you evacuating? From where? Where the hell am I going to go? I ain't got no money for a plane ticket. And that would be the only safe thing for me to do right now if it if it reaches San Jose. I don't know how I don't know how far which jiggers go. I, I can't even fathom that in my head. <laughs> so I told my baby, I said, Hey, big mama got one of them big old huge you know, one of them um trailer tractors for like trees and stuff. I got one of them inner tubes ready to just pull the string and blow up. So if I live from the impact, after the impact <laughs> I'll float eventually, <laughs> but I don't have any place to go, you know. He's like, get on the bus, get on the bus now, leave, head towards, tw head towards Oregon. <laughs> and I can imagine a lot of people are doing that right about now, but it's, it's, not, it's not my time. I'm Big Mama going to be right here to ball your ass out about, well, we'll discuss that later, <laughs> and things. But thank you, that's so sweet, wow. Ah, okay, so if I die and somebody finds this video, my name is Tasha Harris. I'm a wonderful, loving person. <laughs> and you guys have a good day. Bye.